What's up guys? Welcome to my first ghost busting guide. I might do more of these depending on request. This one is for the book goal, as you can see on screen and probably in the title. Uh, doing this on special request because apparently people may be having trouble with this particular ghost. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at what the scan shows. The book golem is a class 6 bi-dimensional attractor. It's unstable, meaning you have to wrangle its parts. Its weakness is the shock blast, and its attacks are melee and berserk. Before I go into those, just showing you that pretty much all of my upgrades right now are in the blast stream and boson darts. There's nothing in my shock blast or my stasis stream. Now, of course, the first time you face the book golem is here in the library, pretty much at the start of the level. It is the first ghost you face on this level. You have faced the kitchen golem, which is kind of similar, back in Hotel Sedgwick. However, I think the book golem is slightly weaker, though that could just be because you're using the shock blast, which is, in my opinion, and probably the game's opinion, the ideal weapon for dealing with it. With golem, sorry. Um, they do require you to be pretty close in order to be effective, which runs the risk of that knocking you down, because the golems are close range attackers as well, melee and berserk. Berserk is when they charge at you and then smash the ground, and melee is pretty much the smashing the ground part, like that. Um, you need to make sure when you're dodging that you have area around you to dodge, so it's probably better to dodge to the sides because you can actually see what's to the left and right of you, more to the right of you on the screen, whereas you can't exactly see what's behind you. However, a personal preference is to dodge back, because for me, it gets me further away from the golem. As you can also see, stasis streams do have somewhat of an effect. It's not massive, and in my opinion, it's more or less useless. You can use it if you're trying to buy a bit of time. Other than that, just keep whittling it down, keep dodging out of the way. You can take as much time as you need. It doesn't need to be quick. There is, of course, also another way, using the standard stream and boson darts. Hey, Bloodhound, we're up here, to your right! This isn't as effective, Strong and it definitely no isn't source, as though. quick. We You'll our guy in here. be safer, though, because uh, boson darts in the standard stream will allow you to shoot uh, from a distance and still be as effective as if they were up close. So you can be on the other side of the library if you're a good enough shot. However, the uh, berserker attack will mean that the golem still charges straight at you, and you still run the risk of getting knocked down, especially if you can't dodge out of the way quick enough, or if a chair blocks you. Not that I'm giving any excuses or anything. However, this is the safer method, so if you're having trouble using a shock blast, then this is the recommended uh, means of going about killing the book golem. Um, if you're in need of space, you can also try and lure the book golem around in order to destroy all of the chairs and tables, giving you more room to roam and more room to dodge as well, which is, cool, which is also a good thing. Um, other than that, there's not really much else to say. Just remember to dodge whenever it gets close but also dodge in a direction that you know is clear. If you can't see your back and you don't know if it's clear, then don't dodge that way. Dodge to your right, because you can see what is to your right. Besides that, all I can do is wish you good luck and good ghost hunting. Hoping this guide has helped you. Not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. I think it's her. Yes!